Last night we commemorated our death. Today we're commemorating a birth. They go together. You gotta, can't have birth without death, and yet everybody likes birth. So much so that when you die, you want to come back and be born again. So it's good to realize that these things come together and ask yourself, is there something better than all this? Is there a happiness that doesn't change? Is there a state of well-being where you don't have to experience these kinds of things? Because there's so many things like this in the world. It starts out well, and then it just kind of deteriorates. And so many people go through life just looking defeated. They had high hopes, and then the hopes are dashed. And then you must start out again, and again, and again. And this is one of the good things about the Dharma, is that it doesn't dash your hopes. It says well, that it is possible to find a true happiness, and you can gain it through your own efforts. But it's going to take work. The question is, have you had enough of the old way of doing things? you want to try something new? That's what we're doing as we practice, is trying something new. And we bring a lot of our old habits here, what you might call the habits of hunger. Looking to feed on this, looking to feed on that. And so the Buddha has you feed on concentration. So many people want to go right past the concentration all the way to insight. But first you do have to feed on the concentration. The mind has to gain a sense of well-being so that when insight comes it isn't disturbing, it doesn't disorient you. When we reach the concentration, then your next habit of hunger is, well, what's next? Where do I feed next? You keep feeding right here, and you find that it gets better and better and better as you feed right here. So this is the way out, learning to keep the mind in a state of good, solid concentration and watching it, questioning it every time it goes out. Where are you going? What, what are you looking for? What's the payback going to be? And it's from the point of view of the concentrated mind that you begin to see things a lot more clearly than you could have seen them before. And that's when your habits really change. So when the mind asks that question, what's, what's next, you say, right here is what's next. Where we go next, stay right here. Keep getting the mind still. You may wonder, well, nothing's going on. Actually, many things are going on as you're keeping the mind still. Requires a fair amount of fabrication to keep it there. And there are layers to stillness. That's something people tend to miss a lot. They think they hit one layer of stillness, well that's it. Well it keeps going deeper and deeper and deeper, and you get more and more insight into the mind as you go deeper. So what's next? This is next. Where next? Right here. Keep reminding yourself of that as you go through the day. <laughs>